Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing an issue with the system error. Whenever you start your system in safe mode or in normal mode, you get the error CTF MON.exe system error or unknown hard error. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, head over to settings menu, choose Windows update, and if any update is pending at your end, make sure you choose the option download and install to make your operating system up to date. Nextly is if you are using Razer or Logitech mouse, make sure you completely uninstall these softwares. Razer Synapses as well as Logitech mouse drivers are the major cause for CTF MON.exe system error. So if you have installed these softwares, Logitech mouse software as well as Razer Synapses mouse software, go ahead and uninstall both the drivers from your system to fix out the issue. If this failed to work out, in next step, click on start menu type CMD run cmd as an administrator first of all type here sfc space slash scan now and hit the enter key now wait for this scanning system to finish scanning your system files and fixing the corrupted system files in your pc it may take up to 10 minutes once this command is completed again you need to run cmd as an administrator this time type here dism space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health and then hit the enter key make sure you perform these two commands one by one and once both the commands are completed don't forget to restart your pc and once you restart your pc hopefully your issue of ctf mon.exe system error will be completely fixed out mm -hmm. if after doing these steps you are still getting the error let's proceed with the next step head over to settings menu in this left pane, click on the option Personalization. Now click on the option Dynamic Lightning. Now from here, you will find two options. Use Dynamic Lightning for my devices and compatible apps in the foreground. Always control Lightning. Go ahead and turn off these two options. Once you have turned off both the options, go ahead, restart your PC in safe mode or in the normal mode and it will completely fix out the issue of C2F M1.exe system error. So as of now, this is all about it friends, if this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends, thank you for watching.